All right, the second I go to record, of course, there's a siren. It's Wes, welcome to this video. Today, we're gonna talk through shooting video F-Log2 in the uh, Mojave Desert with the Fuji X-H2S. One second. All right, I'm back. Uh, so this is what I had with me and I was testing basically the top handle. Uh, I might use a V-mount battery on an upcoming shoot. Um, and all this is kind of embarrassing because it's really a photography channel. That's how I started. But I also started this channel to document my journey. So uh, speaking of document, I'm gonna be filming a one day documentary challenge. Uh, I'm part of the Art of Documentary course from Mark Bone. He's a YouTuber and he has a documentary film uh, making online course. And I'm really excited about that, excited about what I'm learning. Yeah, I'm gonna document my journey. Hopefully this is interesting to you. Uh, it is at the base of mirrorless camera for photography. It's for my client photography, uh, but I've added all this contraptions on here. Side handle, top monitor, uh, V-mount battery. And um, I rented this lens, which a rental house near me was selling. So it's a Carl Zeiss, uh, what is it? Carl Zeiss 85 millimeter planner T lens, F1.4. So I use that on this clip. Uh, I'm going to show clips of what I shot in the Mojave, but mainly I want to talk through uh, this feeling of not knowing what you're doing with your camera or always putting yourself in a situation where you're learning. Um, I'm a big believer in vulnerability and just sharing the journey, so I thought I'd talk through some of the things I was thinking. One, I wanted to get out and shoot in a place where I could just focus on composition. Composition and color grading. Uh, because those are going to be some of the ways I tell a story when I do this one day documentary. And so um, I think what's embarrassing is I never really have shot on F-Log2 and graded it and I've had the camera six months. And when I had the X-T4, I really didn't like color grading with the X-T4 and F-Log. Uh, I just felt like I couldn't nail it. It seemed a little too pink or too magenta. I really, really had a bad taste in my mouth. Um, but I did try this out recently and I was really <laughs> impressed, amazed by the dynamic range. So the ability to bring the, the lights back into the sky, especially shooting out in the desert. So I'm going to narrate through some of the things uh, that I was doing. I was shooting at uh, Amboy, California, which is kind of a, like a deserted ghost towny area in the Mojave Desert. Um, but it's kind of has a, a life to it. People know about it, people visit. There's kind of like a colorful motel sign and uh, an old car parked under it. And so those things uh, draw kind of tourism of passerbys, but it's on a very well, <laughs> uh, untraveled road, so to speak. So you kind of have to go out of your way. So it's just south of the 40 freeway uh, that goes uh, from Barstow to Needles. And so I was out there camping and I had brought the camera with me, I had my two dogs with me, and what I realized day one and a half of camping is there's no way I can film or concentrate on anything. Uh, one of my dogs is super needy and she just wants attention all the time, doesn't want to be left. Uh, so it was difficult, but on the way home, I stopped off and um, you know, I walked them at Kelso Dunes. They like ran through the dunes and uh, so I got them tired out. I got them tired out, they were sleepy and they're resting in the car and I grabbed some of this roadside footage that we're gonna look at. So there are things like trains nearby, an abandoned church, uh, kind of discarded furniture. Um, I really just shot kind of random. Uh, I didn't have sort of a narrative or anything. I was just testing like uh, false colors on the, the Atomos. Um, and so there was a post office there. I, I like some of the textures around that. So I actually threw on, <clears throat> I threw on a, um, it's a extension tubes. That's what it is. So I have a set of two extension tubes. I put them both on with this 85 mil. And so it lets you focus within like, well, it's, I mean, it's an 85 mil. So it's probably like a foot away and get some really close up texture, textures, interesting things, things I think help tell stories in an interesting way, those up close details, instead of just always being a wide shot. So I was testing these ideas for this project and I'm pretty happy with the color grading. However, I did a lot of research. I wasn't comfortable with color grading. Uh, again, remember I kind of committed to being vulnerable here on the channel. Um, 
I know you, you know, you pull down your shadows, you bump up your highs and kind of stretch those video scopes if you're looking at that view. Tyler Stallman, I watched a video for him and from him on color grading in Final Cut Pro and he said, you know, right up front, like if you're using the color wheels, you're doing it right. If you're using the color, something else, you're doing it wrong. I'm like, oh, I've been doing it wrong. So I switched to the color wheels, <clears throat> pull down your shadows and uh, recover your highlights. And so I felt immediately like, oh, I'm doing it wrong, but it was really the same process, different tool. And then uh, basically I did, did a, I kind of got stuck after the basic color exposure corrections rather, and I couldn't get a good look that I like. And I, ultimately what I ended up doing is I threw on a Peter McKinnon LUT, um, and I don't even really like those LUTs. There's one uh, called Kodak Killer, and I reduced it to about half intensity. And I was like, oh, that, that actually looks like what I, I want it to look like. Um, I know some fringing from the lens, so that's not ideal, but I was happy overall that it had a very filmic cinematic look to use these overused terms. But all in all, I'm happy I shot it, definitely learned a lot. And so um, I'm really kind of impressed with the Fuji X-H2S, kind of impressed indeed. And um, you know, this is just beginning. Um, I borrowed this Atomos and I'm gonna probably invest in my own. Uh, I really like the ability to record to a you know, one terabyte card uh, or SSD. And uh, yeah, it's been super, super good working with the F-Log2. Um, so I guess just if there's anything I can do to encourage you is take a risk, try something you always want to try. Even if you're out there with the dogs camping and you kind of feel like, oh, I, I just want to, you know, sit this one out and recoup uh, when I get home, try it. Turn, turn record on and, uh, and just have fun. And so I, I, going to keep you posted on this uh, this journey with uh, filmmaking, which is not what I thought the channel was going to be about. I thought it was going to be about photography, but thank you for hanging in there with me. I think, I think my surprise realization is the dynamic range on the X-H2S in F-Log is kind of amazing. It's amazing. That's it. See you in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. Leave me a comment and let me know where you are in your filmmaking photography journey. What do you shoot and what questions do you have? Let's talk. Peace.